So I'm not holding it with one hand over here and I'm not holding it up here. It's, it's good dog, bad dog, good dog, bad dog. Just like that. <laughs> he goes at the end, I go, nope, he comes back, yes. Hello everybody and welcome back to the coolest dog training channel right here on YouTube. I'm Tom Davis, America's Canon Educator. Today we have a very exciting episode and tutorial for you guys. This is the first session with this German Shepherd. Now this German Shepherd um, is a five-year-old German Shepherd, 115, maybe 120 pounds, all muscle, very, very pulley on the leash very uh, un unresponsive to the dog owner on the leash. As you can imagine, for anybody out there dealing with a very big dog, comparison to their owner, it could be a huge liability issue, et cetera, et cetera. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a full tutorial on how to introduce leash pressure and how to stop the dog from actually pulling you on the leash. God, he's huge. I know, he's 115 pounds. So Jesus. almost what I weigh. So he's I get dragged. huge. Okay, so that's self-explanatory what you wanna work on? Yes, I right. want him to go on the leash and not pull me. Okay, perfect. I think it's... Okay. He's got a big coat, too. Yeah. She shed a lot. Yep, and I'm a clean freak, so... Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, so I'm going... Uh, I don't want to use the flat, obviously, because what it's going to do is it's going to create, like, a lot of just pressure and tension on his neck. Um, the problem with that is, is like if the flat collar worked, great, but obviously it doesn't. I bought a crawl. So what I'm gonna do really quick is I'm gonna, um, you can have a seat and I'm gonna work them. Okay. Um, I'm gonna take this off, you can take it with you. There you go. Um, okay, big guy. Like I said, um, could we use harnesses, head halties, slip collars, sure. Um, but because of his size and because my goal is to transfer him to you as the dog owner to do this using like the most effective tools the best. Me as a dog trainer, I could probably just put like a kennel leash on him and train him, but like you're not a professional dog trainer, so I want to make sure you have the amount of, of tools necessary to be able to handle him out there. Okay. okay, so I'm going to switch to the prong really quick and then I'm going to just work him back and forth. My goal is for you to see an, an immediate change with his mentality and with his engagement with me. So right now he's on you, I want him on me. Does that make sense? Yep. You have any questions? No. Okay, come on bud. Every time I turn, I don't wanna do that. If I teach him and I'm good at what I do, he'll go, oh, if I pay attention to you as the handler and if I follow you on the leash, this isn't going to happen. And then after four or five times, you don't have to touch him on the leash. So it doesn't happen every time, it just happens in the beginning stages. Okay. It's kind of like people always say like, oh, that hurts, that sucks, that's uncomfortable. I'm like, it's uncomfortable at the best, but so are braces. And they end up, you know, they end up painting you like a really beautiful picture at the end. It's the same, it's the same concept in my mind. Yep. Good. Just for a little bit. And then the end goal is you're good, you're happy with it. Good. Good boy. Come. Good. So see it right there, that, that's him going, can I just go back over there? So I'm gonna continue to just move him along. So this is, this is, um, this is what I call tune up. So in the dog training world, um, this would also be called positive punishment. So I'm using something to add to the equation to punish him for not listening to me. Um, so I'm adding that to the equation. Come, good. Good, so now I'm gonna just take it a step further and instead of doing my tune-up, I'm just gonna keep him on my left side and wheel him around. Good job, buddy. So I'm using positive reinforcement. Good boy. Good. So I'm adding reinforcement positively. Yes, so when he's in that heel position, I'm saying, good job. So I'm rewarding him for that. So again, it's much like, uh-uh. It's, it's really crafty, because he's not used, as you saw before, he's used to going boing, 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 spinning you around, throwing you off your feet, etc. Now what I'm doing is I'm saying, we're gonna go places together, but you have to be in a certain location. 
because then it's not fun for you and it's not productive and then he could get into a dog fight because he pulls you or you could let him go and God forbid he got hit by a car because you let him go, whatever. Um, so what I'm, I'm teaching him is, yes, we're gonna go out for a walk, which is the reward. Rather you walk him and he pulls you or I walk him and he not, walks nicely. He's still getting rewarded for being outside as an animal. But I want it to be more enjoyable. Ah, uh -uh. sit, good. I also want it to be more responsible um, for, for you as a dog owner because he's over 100 pounds. Because if you're walking and you know a little dog comes out of nowhere and poof, you know he flies off the end of the leash, it's a problem. So I'm gonna keep doing this, but watch what I'm doing is I'm, is I'm, there's a lot of subtleties that I'm doing. I'm rewarding him positively with my verbal like good boy. Um, I'm also only using my left side, so I'm not switching him up, I'm not letting him spin me around. I'm only putting him on my left side. Um, and then my leash pressure when he's doing something I love is super loose. It's, there's no leash pressure at all. So I'm not holding it with one hand over here and I'm not holding it up here. It's, it's good dog, bad dog. Good dog, bad dog. Just like that. <laughs> he goes at the end, I go, nope. He comes back, yes. Think about it kind of like just staying in the lane. You gotta stay in the lane. And if you don't, really bad things could happen. Considering the size of the dog, if you will. Good. So right here, good heel, buddy. <clears throat> good heel. Ah, good. <clears throat> so he's doing really, really well. So think about it kind of like a video game. It's like when he's in this pocket, he's getting all these points. Like ding, 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 ding. And it's just the, the lights are going off. It's like a pinball machine. He's doing really well. The minute he goes outside, it's like, ah, nope. And you're like, okay, how do I get back into that good pocket? Right here, good boy. Good heel. Using my body to box him off. Good heel. Good heel, buddy. Good heel. Ah, ah, ah. Good. Good. Sit. Well done. When I'm walking around and I say, okay, buddy, heel. Ah, heel. Good. And I'm walking around and he's loose leash. 115 pound dog. Spend 10 minutes of work, right? And you get this new behavior of like, okay, I guess this guy's in charge now. Good. Come on, buddy. Good boy. Heel. Good. Good. Come on, bud. Good. Good. And then I stop and I want him to be engaged with me. Ah, ah. Good. Good boy. Good. Come. Good boy. So no pressure there again. Bring him back around. Ah, sit. Good. Stay. So that whole circle, the stop, the recall, the spin, the sit, zero pressure, which means bravo. I've done my job. I don't have to give him any corrections anymore. Now I want to talk about the behavior you're seeing because that was like something you mentioned, like he's tired or whatever. You got to think about it like um, a kid basically doing whatever they want, when they want, however they want, etc. I'm the guy that's like, no, like you're out of control. You're not going to eat this. You're not going to eat that. You're going to eat this and you're going to act this way and you're going to do these things. It's going to add a level of stress to him like it would add a level of stress to us when we're at CrossFit or we're at the gym, right? Like, yes, he's stressed, but it's a good stress. It's, it's a progressional, I'm moving forward stress. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Again, like if you're sitting there like, you're like, okay, it's the first time I've been to this new gym, we're all gonna do this new thing, and you're stressed and you have anxiety, but it's good because you're putting yourself in an environment that is going to broaden your horizons. So with him, like I, I hate when people say like, oh, the dog's stressed. It's like, we get stressed all the time when we do stuff that is, is, is good for us. It's better for us. We run marathons, we're like stressed before we go, we're sitting there, but we're about to go run a marathon. We're gonna better ourselves. Um, so you just have to understand that the stress that you're seeing is normal for this type of work. Also, because we're flipping the script completely and entirely, that's where you're also getting the stress. He's never been told no, buddy, actually, um, I'd rather you not pull my arm out of socket, yeah. right? And he's like, so this is all new for him. He doesn't know me. He's been working for 10 to 12 minutes. And now I'm like, you know, the, 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 the drill sergeant, but not really. All I'm saying is like, hey, buddy, we're going to walk together. And I just don't want you pulling me around. And if you do, nope, nope, like a horse. No, 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 please don't go 60 miles per hour across this plane. Like, just stay with me and we're going to go, we're going to ride together. Okay. And that's what I've taught him. 
Now with animals, you have to be able to apply certain tools. Again, going back to horses and pretty much any other animal in the book, that if you don't have the proper tools to manipulate their behavior or navigate to tell them what they can and can't do, I mean, you have two things, is you have to be extremely skillful and have enough time to do that. My goal for here is for you to walk out within this hour to do what I just did and providing you the proper tools, because that's what tools are, they help us get from A to B faster, quicker, more efficient, you're gonna be able to do that. Does that make sense? Yep. So that's why we're doing this process of teaching him, no, 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 yep, 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 nope, 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 yep. <laughs> oh, he's broke. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking this little link down here, liking this video. I appreciate you guys so very much for watching. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them within 24 hours. And don't forget, our No Bad Dog merch will be available in the description below. Little link, No Bad Dogs. If you guys wanna rep the No Bad Dogs movement, I will talk to you next time. Peace.